heavy bar time. And lots of people ask questions. What do you do? What weight should you use? What are the benefits of going with heavy bars? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Awesome from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to talk about heavy bar training. Now, it's, uh, it happens to be the end of the day because we're beating the heat here in Arizona, but we're heading into that fall time and the sun's changing and all that good stuff, and that also means off season. And so, what we start to do is we immediately start to think about sport specific strength and we want to start feeling different positions. And now is when we have that long window of time to really work on a lot. And we've posted up a few things here on our Instagram regarding heavy bars and so a lot of people ask the question how do you do it what sizes and all that kind of stuff and that's what we're going to talk about today so today i'm joined by my new discus ace james Plummer, and we are going to be demonstrating he's going to be showing some of the bars we're going to go through and we'll talk about that so real quick one of the things we do with heavy bars we go from about two kilos we use that as the heavier end for like female throwers that would be the oversized overweight but we'll still throw them because the bar how you hang on to it and and how you feel it makes you change how you feel the throw. So the idea here is enough resistance to slow the positions down, force some correction, and also develop some strength, and that's what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna start out. James, again, will do a pre-block. He's gonna do an easy throw. It won't be super hard, but he's gonna set his angle. So we're setting our stack. That's what we refer to in our system. So everything's lined up. And then he's gonna wind flat because we're doing a pillar six throw and then we're gonna just have him take it out. He's gonna activate the right side, the, the lower body. The block leg is already engaged and then that's gonna just require timing up the block arm and having the hip come all the way through. Okay, go ahead. the bar will help do is the added resistance and the way it has to be held we're going to be able to create nice stretch reflex and that's going to be able to set that double arm the shoulder arm separation the double separation that we see in the discus that we don't see in the shot all right so what james is going to do now we're going to go into what we refer to as our modified wheel so this is a half turn again one of the things we teach in the throwing chain reaction is how we're going to set everything up Right, so it's the sequence and where his hips are in relation to how he's loaded on the legs. Everything's generally pretty good. I'm gonna have him move his hips back just a touch more and you'll notice that brings, that brings the chest forward and that more engages the core and it's gonna allow him to move on top of the right leg. So go ahead, uh, he's gonna set it up and you're gonna notice the push and the idea is to continue moving all the way through the delivery with the added resistance. So he's gonna go, there we go, and we're trying to feel Again, the bar, now you're gonna notice what he's doing well is that what we've already been starting to work on in his training is where the block arm is. And one of the things the bar helps you do with that extra weight and it's not the implement, you can't turn through it. You feel how to kind of stop and how to feel that block engage and how, how the delivery side is gonna to continue to push out. So that was one of the things we're looking at and that's again one of the benefits of using the heavy bar. There's a whole bunch of stuff and again, if you're interested or you don't understand our system or some of our things, we have a free mini course on rotational throws and you grab that in the link in the description below in this video. And one of the things that's really beneficial to the heavy bar is that it really forces to feel what we refer to as pillar two, that shift over and the, and if you're collapsing you'll feel how the bar is going to take over and that's one of the things that we really like while it's a strength specific it's extremely sport specific to throw something overweight right but it also really requires you to do it right and so you're naturally going to slow down your positions because of the added weight but also because of how the bar is forcing you to move and it's going to make you again feel positions and feel mistakes and that's another thing it's providing another layer of awareness of what you're doing technically so what we're going to do is have james do a full throw i'll back up out of the way the bar really 
really is allowing him to feel that position of how he's gonna move this way and keep this back and move his hips. That hip will collapse, it's easier to kind of fall in, whereas the bar kind of forces you to feel how we're gonna be creating that movement around, and that's a really important thing. Okay, so James is gonna take one more throw. He's gonna to go to another full throw. I'm gonna have him increase the speed just a little bit. He sets his pillar one, he goes to two, three, and we're trying to work on his timing and that kind of thing, and that's where the heavy bar really helps helps the athlete feel how to get that center of mass shifted as we so we can move into the throw. Okay, here we go. Again, you'll notice again from here, from the side angle and from here, you'll notice again how we're, we're trying to get them around here. And these are the things that we're gonna be retraining and kind of making more efficient in his throwing motion. How much do you notice how th that it makes you aware of positions? A lot more aware. Once you have something overweight in your hand, it really forces you to feel all the different positions because everything's longer. You can't just manipulate it, pull right. on it, shorten it. Everything has to stay long and in the correct position. Otherwise, you're just gonna feel things that cause you to pull and then you feel all the compensation. So that's a good point. That's from the thrower's mouth, some key things that he was talking about. And that's one of the things we really like about the bar. What we always talk about when anybody throws the bar for the first time, if you're too active with the upper body and you're not staying long, like James just talked about, you'll throw the bar off the sector this way, you'll throw it off this way. The bar will always win. It forces you to kind of with the extra weight by the fact that the bar is long and we're holding it, it's it's maximizing the lever, right? And it's increasing the radius, which is really important to feel that. And this is one of the things that I like, again, that you wouldn't get when you're holding a ball. The ball weight will kind of facilitate that to an extent, but the bar can really stretch and you can allow that pec to stay a little bit more relaxed, whereas a ball, everything's gonna kind of tighten up to, to hold it in your hand. Whereas when you're switching here, it's gonna make a big difference. So that's basically just a real quick insight into how you use it. You do all go through your whole throwing progression. Again, we have some more videos coming out on throwing progressions and drill progressions and that kind of stuff coming soon. So again, hopefully you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you have anything else you'd like to see, comment below and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.